Hey there loves! Welcome back to my channel. If you've just hopped onto this video, welcome! This is Jean Castillo de Jesus and I release videos in which I share my know-hows on the nitty-gritty of English and research. If you want to reinforce your learnings about these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. Previously, we talked about the importance or the significance of the study. Today, we will tackle the next subpart of chapter 1, which is the scope and limitations of the study. So get your pen and your research notebook ready so you can jot down significant points. First, we will have an overview of the scope and limitations of the study. Then, we will differentiate the two terms, limitation and the limitation. And of course, a sample scope and limitations of the study will be given at the end of the discussion. So without much ado, let's get the ball rolling. Scope and limitations of the study is composed of the coverage and witnesses of your research work. It is composed of two paragraphs. The first paragraph tackles the scope, which is delineated by the core concern, respondents or participants and their characteristics, the time frame or duration of the conduct of the study, the data collection methods to be used, and the research site for the setting or locale of the study. Moreover, the second paragraph presents the witnesses of your research, such as an availability of resources, reticence of the participants, among others. It also tackles the constraints that have direct bearing to the results of your study. This time, we will differentiate the terms limitation and delimitation. Limitation refers to the shortcomings, conditions, or influences that can't be controlled by the researcher, which place restrictions on the methodology and conclusions of the study. The limitation on one hand describes the boundaries that the researcher has set for the study. These are choices made by the researcher which should be mentioned in the research work such as topic of the study, objectives of the study, and the issues to be addressed, time frame in which the study will be conducted, the locale or area where the study will be conducted, characteristics of the participants in the study such as age, sex, education, economic status, civil status, and other traits, the population and sampling, and research design, instrument, and method. Remember this, researchers. The keyword for limitation is witnesses, while for delimitation, boundaries. Here are some helpful phrases that you can use in writing your own scope and limitations of the study. This study covers, this study focuses on, and the coverage of this study, which you can use for the first paragraph, stating or presenting the scope, while for the second paragraph, which presents the limitations, you have this study is limited to, this study does not cover. And now, here is the sample scope and limitations of the study. That ends today's lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you craft your own scope and limitations of the study, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my lessons. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and please do love research. Bye!